choreography by Flicky Colby. Welcome to this Sunday night Chini Vision where we look at things a little bit differently, perhaps not in so much detail, because I've got a game here that I really want to cover. But the thing is, most of the releases are on Japanese systems, such as the Sharp X1, the PC8801, and the SG Sega SG1000, which clearly I don't have here. The game is flicky. Uh, it dates from 1984. It's by Sega, although distributed by Namco in the USA and probably the rest of the West as well. It's a, what I'd call a save em up You have to rescue the chicks from around the level, you have to keep them away from the enemies, and take them to the exit. The more you collect at once, the bigger the bonuses. Fantastic arcade game, not one I ever saw. I came to play it when I had MAME in, in later years and thought, wow, this is a really good and why wasn't it ported to the UK home systems? A rather odd omission. There are, however, a couple of systems available in the West that I have that have the game available. And the first one is the MSX. Unsurprisingly, I don't know if the game actually itself is actually available in the West, but hey, we can now play it on our flashcards. There are weapons around the playing area that you can use to fire off against the enemy cats. The MSX version is rather odd because you can't see where the exit is and you also can't see where the cats, uh, uh, well the cat enemies, emerge from which make it rather difficult because on the arcade you get a pair of eyes appearing in the cat flaps that give you fair warning that the cats are going to emerge. But on the MSX, no. It is fluid, it has the, oh dear, I've died there, it does have the arcade music. But it is, well, significantly cut down. Whether that's to fit it onto a, a 16K cartridge, I guess it probably probably was, because there's no reason why those extra bits of animation couldn't be there. Just jumping around. A little bit of flickering on the sprites, as the MSX doesn't like too many sprites. Oh dear, I've died again on the same playing level. It is not a particularly good conversion of the game, however, and not one I'd choose to play. However, the Mega Drive does have a good version, so we can spend most of our time looking at this. Flicky was quite an old game by the time this came out on the Mega Drive in 1991, and it's lovely and fluid, but it's, had, it's kind of got 16-bit graphics. You can collect just one chicken, drop them off at the exit, but as I say, you get more points the more you get. I think it doubles for every uh, extra chick you get in in one go. So for a high score challenge, as we once played on an internet forum I frequented, the idea was, yeah, you had to get as many chicks at once, and therefore you get the high score. And that's level one cleared. It's strange to think this is on the Mega Drive with all the latest titles at the time. I don't know how much attention it would have got. You know, it's, it's the era of Sonic and all that stuff. And here we are with a game from, well, might as well be prehistoric. And yet it's so superbly playable. Of course, they did release um, Ms. Pac-Man for the Mega Drive as well around this time. So perhaps it was just Sega plundering their archives. Nothing wrong with that. Look, it's said Nintendo make a living off that these days, don't they? And Sega. And you see, get the, the get fair warning, the cats are going to emerge. I keep calling them cat flaps. Vents, I don't know what they are. So I've got as many chicks as I can. There we go, nice. Doubles up, goes from 500 to 1,000. And you get bonus if you do it in quick enough time. Right. Now I've got a bonus round, I've got to catch the chicks. But there's inertia. Oh yes, I'm flicky has inertia on, on the character. Which is quite nice because you get all the chicks following you along as well. And they've got inertia, so all the animations are really good. Good scores for this on the Mega Drive. 
Mean Machine Sega gave it 88%, and a CMVG gave it 84%. It's a really good game. It really is. It's such a joyous, simple arcade game that gets overlooked by so many people. It's just... I think it's because it didn't get those home computer conversions and wasn't a mega popular arcade game. So it's just... It almost seems like one of those generic platformers of the era, but it really isn't. I must have a chick missing there. They're up there. Right, so jump, jump. Whoa! Uh, I believe uh, Flicky also appears in some of the Sonic games. So very much still, I don't know about today, but certainly a character Sega wanted to revisit. They must have been fond of... Look, there's Mize there. Oh, dear. All these cats running around. It must be like Geiger Punk's house. When you die, the chicks will stay in... Well, they won't stay in position. They will continue where, from where you were and will just aimlessly run around. And the cats can get behind you and pick the chicks off as well. This is level six. It's getting more complicated now. And things to throw around are less... Uh... Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's the danger when you've got a lot of chicks. You get the bonuses from getting as many chicks in as you as you can at once. But you've got more danger of, due to the inertia of the cats picking off the ones at the rear. Do you play safe and just dump them off at the exit one or two at a time? Would you go for a high score and get as many as you can at one? Whoa! Interesting thing that uh, Julian Rignall at Meme Machines wrote, Jazza Rignall, with his mullet. It's crazy, I know, that a game so crappy, so laughingly simple and pathetic sounding as this can prove to be more addictive, more challenging and more long-lasting than virtually any other Mega Drive game. But it's true. Thing is, Jazz, games don't have to have super attractive state-of-the-art graphics to be good games. I noticed you didn't actually ever you know, apply this when you were reviewing in CMVG. But it's true. A good game is a good game. It doesn't need flashy graphics, flashy sound. It needs to be on the PC Engine or Neo Geo when you were reviewing games and reviewing stuff none of us could ever afford. You can have a good game on the Spectrum. You can have a good game on the Mega Drive. Graphics and sound don't come into it unless they, those things materially impact the playability of the game. We looked at the MSX version. Yes, the emissions in that version materially impact the game. But if the MSX version had the cat's eyes appearing and you could see the exits and so on, it would be a much better game. But it wouldn't need to have the Mega Drive graphics to make it any better, if you see what I mean. Basically, a good game's a good game, Jazz, okay? Sorry, CMVG used to wind me up something chronic, and it still does. So it's getting really hard now. And you might see little lizard things running around, which can run on top and beneath the platforms. There's one, and they will kill you. And they're really, really irritating just because they can, they can go anywhere, basically. Uh, and they really do get in the way, right. Got to time this well. Oh, I'm dead. Although you get bonuses for how long you took, there's no timer on the screen. And this is so much more than the simple put 10 pence in arcade game. It's really addictive and you want to continue. So level 25. And now it's getting really hard. Lots of tight corners to get round. 
lots of places for you to get trapped by the cats and the uh, lizard thing. There are bottles strategically placed around that you can throw at the cats. No one dies in the game, as far as I can see. The cats do not eat the chicks, and when you hit the cats, so they just get stunned. How very Nintendo. Flicky is a game that seemed to have passed the UK public by. We didn't really get any ports to the UK home computers. The closest you would have got was perhaps having a copy for your MSX on cartridge, probably on import, or waiting until 1991 for the Mega Drive version, where you would have looked at it and gone, what's this game? But it's absolutely joyous, it's brilliant. This Mega Drive port is absolutely wonderful. The MSX version highlights what happens when perhaps you skimp on the amount of memory on a cartridge and have to cut down on features. You can't, the cats just appear from nowhere and although it's got the inertia and it actually plays okay, just having a cat leap out from nowhere it is kind of game breaking I'm afraid. The Mega Drive version is super polished, it looks nicer than the arcade, it's updated and it's really got that early 80s Sega appeal but all up to date, just very gently, very slightly, it's not a, a massive update. It's a very addictive game, it's a very good game, the mechanics just work. And it's that thing that the main character handles so well. It's that thing where the Pickford Brothers said they spent a lot of time when they were doing Zub. Just getting the character moving around and feeling right. And Flicky has that. And when you've got the control mechanics right, the rest is so much fun. Do you play it safe and just take a couple of chicks back to the, the exit? Or do you try and get as many as possible? And they get all the fun of the inertia and watching them behind you. It's so good. It's a game I can highly recommend. And hey, what a shame that Spec EC64 and Amstrad owners missed out on having this Sega Classic on their home micros. <laughs>